Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Star Wars Imperial Assault Hover Tank. This is from the LEGO, I mean not the LEGO, the uh, Star Wars Rogue One movie. So it's based on the movie, it's not from it, I guess. Um, so you do have uh, three minifigures, you have two Imperial Hover Tank pilots, and Charette Imwe. So... That's cool minifigure right there. And then of course the hover tank. So let's go ahead and uh, bust this open and see what we have in here. It's a decent sized set considering the size of the box. What is it, 300 and 385, almost 400 pieces. I imagine a lot of that is gonna be smaller stuff. So we'll see, that's why we do these builds. So one instruction book. And no stickers. Huh. Look at that. No stickers. All right, so we have numbered bags. Here's bag one, a bag four, a bag two, and a bag three. Dump out bag one. The small bag and the big bag. And we have this box of stuff. Get all those parts out. This box should have some little cape, yeah. So that's the cloth part, and it's kind of like a um, polyester vinyl blend. Let's go ahead and build the minifigure. So we take the minifigure part and our polyester vinyl blend. Goes on here. All right. So these sometimes can be tricky because you have to put a piece that doesn't really bend too well over and onto these leg bars that are sticking up. Come on. All right. That goes there. Where's the torso? Okay, so you squeeze the torso on. Kind of looks a little funny, but it'll work. We have a neck bracket, and we have our one by one tile with a clip it's showing it kind of crooked the way I'm putting it on there we have a double printed face so the white eyes it's a straight face and then this is kind of the smirkish grin I'm gonna leave the straight face version on some slicked back hair <clears throat> Next we have a large blaster gun with this axle bar combo joiner piece. I'm put a couple of these golden horn pieces on here, kind of make it look like a crossbow. Stud with a hole in it. And a cone. Snap that on back. <clears throat> so that's kind of why they had that clip at an angle. It's really the easiest way to clip it on the back. And where the handle piece sticks off to the side. Now we have these dark pearl gray pieces with <coughs> some brown bars on there. That makes for that little weapon piece. Pretty cool. 
All right, so that completes the first minifigure. That's the only minifigure in this bag. We have three other bags of parts, so we'll get to the rest eventually. So let's begin the hover tank build. A couple the same little detail to build here. It looks like the outside of the vehicle is all light and dark bluish gray color with some of this tan sprinkled on the inside. Have one seat there. Build another seat. <clears throat> Spring-loaded flick-fire missile pieces here. Three of these small brackets. Couple one by one trans red tiles. Two by three bricks. Studs. Okay, that all looks good. Now we have some of these one by twos with the slot, some profile bricks. Pretty simple right now, we're just stacking a lot of bricks. Have two of these headlight bricks with trans red tile on them. These will both go here and here. Two more slopes. We have a trapdoor plate. There. <clears throat> now this is the trap door. Or it could just be the roof hatch. That goes there. Oh, that's pretty cool. So those 
tiles on that headlight brick actually stop the door from going down. We have some antennas on this too long thin lift arm. These will simply go right inside of that brick with the studs on the side. And that completes bag number one. <clears throat> so, go ahead and jump right into bag number two. Okay, we have everything for bag number two dumped out. Um, they do seem to be distributing the parts pretty evenly amongst all the bags. There's really not too many. About the same amount that was in the first bag, or in this bag. So it should make for a pretty smooth flowing build. This goes on the brackets on the front. Two of these studs with the holes in the top. You can see there's a bar hole on the top of each one of those. So even though those studs have holes in the top, we're not going to put anything in them. You can see we're covering everything up. So this one, we are going to use the hole. Put the stud with the hole on the top, turn it upside down, and attach it to that bar. And these clips clip onto those bars. That kind of gives you a, a little uh, handle to open that little hatch. Move that to the side, have a little sub build to do. Turn it back around. like we're going to have some Technic pieces and I put that one on the wrong side. Poke that through. It alternates. Two go on this side and one goes on that side. And down here, one goes here, one goes there. <clears throat> plate on that one. And we have to put two more here. Tile here. And two more. It's a double wide cheese slope. And we're going to put a slotted tile here. Do my best not to knock them off. <coughs> Excuse me. Still fighting this little cough. It's really more of just a, a tickle in the throat whenever I talk. Kind of irritates my throat a bit. 
I'm sure there's people out there saying, well, stop talking. Just build. Then how will you know all of the great information that I'm talking about? <clears throat> More Technic bricks all the way down here. Technic brick with a pen. Now we have plates, tiles, jumper tiles. Axle with a stop. We're gonna put a gear through there. Slide it through here. Put an axle joiner. Red axle. This piece. There. Okay, this looks like another blaster piece. Some sort of big weapon. Go there. a dark bluish gray wedge, another wedge here, tile, and then this large wedge. So turn it this way, it goes right there on the end. Now we put these clear pulley wheels on with a yellow half bushing. Bring our piece over and this this goes there. It lines up kind of right down there. Okay. They show one of those studs going right there. All right, that completes <clears throat> bag two. Let's move on to our third bag right now. Okay, bag three is opened and we have our final two minifigures. They are the Imperial of our tank pilots. They are identical. See, they have the same legs, same torso, same angry face. Single printed faces. They're Imperial hover tank helmets. And they both have blasters. And this is kind of where they differ ever so slightly. This guy has a long blaster. And this guy has the medium length blaster. So it's really the only difference between the two. It's really not a difference. They're just holding different weapons. <clears throat> okay. 
So bag three, we're basically starting off kind of the same way we started off bag two. A couple pins there. Now we're gonna build the other side of the hover tank. on there kind of makes up bulk of the support now we're gonna start our little technic combinations Have all these pins going on Good. Some more Technic bricks. Panel. We get a lot of these one by two bricks with the slot down the side. Two by three plates, a two by four tile. And then two jumper tiles. <clears throat> we have our axle with a gear, our axle joiner, another axle, and then this Technic piece here. blaster piece just like we built on the other side simply go there now we have the front piece looks like some sort of air intake grill clear pulleys with the half bushings there and there bring this over hover but the trans clear wheels is supposed to represent the hovering action all right so that's our third bag so we have one more bag left it's bag four let's go ahead and go into it right now 
Okay, we have everything for bag four dumped out. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We have a two by six with some inverted slopes. Some red one by one round tiles, and then these brick plate offset combo. Not sure what they call that piece. Maybe that big plate on there to help hold it all together. A couple tiles. Some more tiles and some jumper tiles right in the middle. So this attaches here. So that completes the back side of the hover tank. We're going to create, looks like, the back thrusters. Have the two by two wedge plate. This one goes right there. Now we're going to build the other side. <clears throat> Where is... I'm missing a light blue one by three. I see it. Guess where it's at. It's still in bag number four. Make sure to check your bags, kids. Dump all the parts out. This is basically exactly what we did on the other side. Just a mirrored version of it. That piece there, that, another wedge. This one goes back here. Very good. Now we have this container that we're going to build. Some brackets. Two by three. Two of these panels. Two one by two bricks with studs on both sides. Excuse me. I built four of this little module.
Alright. Right. Put some equipment in here. Binoculars and a blaster. That's the lid that goes on top of it. That's really it for this container. So it goes there. We have two of the spring loaded look fire missiles that go in the front and that's it that completes the build so our little gears on the side here you turn those and it shoots out the missile so be careful hitting those you may launch that missile unknowingly um, so we can open up these two compartments to insert our drivers. One guy goes there, the other guy goes here. They don't have to be holding their weapon. Actually, it would probably work better if they weren't, but you can see they fit in there. I'm going to go ahead and take them out for now. Put them right next to it. And of course, don't forget our other minifigure, Cheroot. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos, subscribe, look at um, all the Star Wars stuff. I'll put a link down below so you can check out all my other Star Wars videos. And we'll see you in the next one.